hydrocarbon derivatives are, are when you take your, your, your hydrocarbon chains, whether they be aliphatics or aromatics, and you start sticking on different types of functional groups, maybe even other than uh, double and triple bonds and, and halides. For instance, when we stick OHs onto these groups, what we get are alcohols. So now, alcohols end in all. So when you look at this formula right here, which is the most broken down one we can have, the simplest alcohol that there is, we've got a meth, which is one carbon long, and instead of CH4, we have a CH3 and then an OH. And look at I draw, drew it properly, tried to draw it properly in terms of stereochemistry, because I don't like to put that H straight across here. There's no linear shape around an oxygen. It's a bent shape. Okay, sometimes you're going to see that, or sometimes some people are just going to write an OH and not even put the H bonded on there with a line. Okay, that's fine. So, what do you call that right there? Well, that's a meth, and it used to be methane, but we drop the E and add the O-L, and we get methanol. So, methanol, which is wood alcohol, you get that from a fermentation of, of like bark and stuff like that in wood. Oh, man, that'll kill you dead. That's bad stuff, methanol. It's, it's windshield washer and, and gas line antifreeze. So, you can't drink it. It's poison. All the alcohols are poison, except for this one. This one... CH3, CH2OH, or C2H5OH is ethanol. And ethanol is grain alcohol, fruit alcohol, and it's the one that we can metabolize, break down in our bodies, but if we drink too much of it, we can actually poison our bodies and kill ourselves too. It's just one that we can readily break down into products that don't poison us. So that's ethanol. Now, what would this be right here? Okay, here it comes. Now, you know, I'm just, okay, I'm sketching that real quick. So what is that right there? That's a hydroxyl group, we call it, onto that carbon there, which makes it a propanol. But here's the thing. It's a propane, drop the E, add the all, but wait, couldn't we put that OH on that group instead? Yep, or then the first carbon there, or the first carbon there. So wait a minute. So what are we going to call it? This one is going to be propan 2 all. This one right here that I'm drawing, where we put the OH on the first carbon, would be propan-1-ol. Those two are isomers of each other, but because the all is at different positions, they have different names. Now, I want to show you this too. This is important. That one right there, because the alcohol is group is on one carbon, which is attached to only one other carbon, that's what it is. Or let's just put it simply this. Whenever you take the OH and put it on to the first carbon at either end, it's called a primary alcohol. Primary alcohol. What do you call this one? Because the OH is, in, is attached to a carbon that is attached to two other carbons. That's called a secondary alcohol. So propantuol is a secondary alcohol. What's the name of this alcohol right here? Well, okay. This is one, two, three, four longest chain, so it would be a butan. The all is at the second carbon, so it's a butan two all. But there's a methyl group on the second carbon as well, so it's a two methyl butan two all. Hope that makes sense. And by the way, because this OH is attached to a carbon that's attached to three other carbons, that's called a tertiary alcohol. Now why the heck do you care about primary and then secondary and tertiary alcohols? Well, in terms of the reactions of these alcohols later, it's going to make a lot of importance. Maybe not a lot of sense, but a lot of importance. Here's one so we can make sure that we've got the naming rules correct for these alcohols. Now, an alcohol is a functional group, and when you put a functional group on something, Wherever that functional group is takes precedence over where branches would be. So now look at how this one would be named. Now this, this, now you can say, oh, that's a benzene. No, 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 that's got no double bonds in it or anything. So it's a cyclohex? Yeah, it is. It's a cyclohex. But there's an alcohol on it, an OH. So right away, it's a cyclohexan. And because the OH is at the first carbon in that ring, and it is, you're going to say, well, you know what, maybe not, because if I number these branches lowest y, 
lowest numbers, that would be one, two, four. Yeah, but this isn't a branch. The, the, the halogens are and the alkyl groups are listed as those kinds of branches, those substituents. This is a functional group, and what you got to do is you got to give it the lowest number possible. So that's on the one. So that means then, if that's the one, then that's the two. Then that's the three, four, that's the five. See that? Okay. So then that makes that the one, and then two, and then that's the five. And so that's a cyclohex and one ball. Then we've got a methyl and then a bromo. So what comes first? Well, the bromo does because it's alphabetical. Bromo, where's the bromo? At the five, where's the methyl? At the two. And so that would be five bromo, two methyl, cyclohex, and one all. Ouch.